This video is brought to you by Surfshark, a VPN service designed to protect your privacy. Stay tuned to learn how you can get 83% off a one-year subscription and one month free. You've probably seen a ton of people bashing Bixby, comparing it to Google, and saying that it's just not up to par with Google, and that's true, but they're really missing the point. The point to Bixby is not to be a direct competitor with Google, it's to excel at things that have to do specifically with your phone, things like changing your settings or interacting with apps on the phone. And to prove it, here are more than 30 incredibly useful Bixby commands. I'm gonna be saying Bixby a lot in this video, so to stop your phone from continually going off every time I say it, just say this command here. Hi Bixby. Turn off voice wake up. Voice wake up is off now. Then when you're done watching the video, just hold the power button and say, turn voice wake up on. I've turned on voice wake up. We're gonna start this off with a few quick, simple, yet incredibly useful features. Then we're gonna dive into a ridiculously powerful hidden feature. The first feature that I use almost every night when I'm going down the stairs is the ability to quickly turn on the flashlight because I don't have any light switches to turn the lights on downstairs from the top of the stairs. So I have to go all the way downstairs and then fumble through the dark to get to a light switch. But with Bixby, I can just hold the power button and say, flashlight, and the flashlight turns right on. Then when I don't need it, I just hold it again, flashlight off, and it turns off that fast. And really quick, if you hold the power button and you don't get Bixby popping up, then all you have to do is hold the power button and volume down button for a few seconds. You're gonna get this menu to pop up here, tap side key settings, and the press and hold can either be wake Bixby, which is what I have it set to now, or it might be on power off menu for you. So if I have it set there and I hold the button, it's gonna jump right to the power off menu. So for now, just switch it to wake Bixby to follow along. Another command I use at least a few times a week is the quick reminder command. So if I'm on the way out the door and my wife asks me to pick something up on the way home, I'll just go ahead and pull my phone out, hold the power button and say, remind me to grab milk on my way home at 5 p.m. And just like that, at 5 p.m., I'm gonna get a reminder to grab milk on the way home. As you can see, saving reminders is incredibly fast. You know what else is incredibly fast? Saving calendar appointments. All I have to do is hold the power button and say something like, make an appointment called dentist on September 30th at 2 p.m. Then it gives me a chance to make any changes I want. So if I said the wrong date, I can just say, Change the time to September 27th. And it'll change the date. If I want to add a location, I can say, change the location to Boston, Massachusetts. And it adds the location. Then when I'm done, I can either tap save or hold the button and say, save. And that'll save the event for me. If later on I forget when my dentist appointment is, I can just hold the power button and say, when is my dentist appointment? And it'll bring it right up. And by the way, if there's ever a time where Bixby doesn't understand what you say or gets something wrong, and you get to a screen like this, all you have to do is swipe down, then you can tap what it understood, and then correct anything that it got wrong, and then you would tap this go button here, and that helps teach Bixby your voice. And if it looked into the wrong application for what you were trying to do, like as you can see here, it went to the reminder application to set a reminder, but if that was wrong for some reason, you can just tap the capsule button and pick a different application that you want it to act on. One more fun fact while I'm on this screen, if you swipe in, you'll actually get a keyboard. And if you tap that keyboard, you can type a command to Bixby, then tap this go button, and that'll get Bixby to execute the command as well. Anytime your keyboard is open, whether it be in a YouTube search or a text message or something like that, you can quickly dictate the text instead of typing it in by holding the Bixby button and saying whatever it is that you want to type in. So for example, if I hold the Bixby button in a YouTube search, I can say, best Galaxy Note 10 accessories. Then just tap search and quickly get my results. If dictation is turned off on your phone, all you have to do is hold the power button and say, turn on dictation. 
This next one's pretty simple, but it's really useful when you're going on vacation. Let's say you took the rest of the week off and you don't want your alarms to wake you up in the morning anymore. You can go ahead, hold the power button and just say, turn off all my alarms. And that'll go ahead and shut off all of your alarms. Now, if you just wanted to change the time of the alarm, you could say something like, change my 7 a.m. alarm to 6.20 a.m. And it will change just that alarm. Time to take a look at the super powerful hidden feature. This is a feature that you won't find within the Bixby app or Bixby settings. And you also can't ask Bixby to bring you to this feature. The only way to get to it is through the phone's settings. So go ahead and pull your notification shade down, tap the settings gear, then tap the search bar, then search for Bixby routines, and tap the first result. Now from here, you can toggle Bixby routines on and off, but to see the full power of this, you have to tap a little bit further to the left to get into the settings for Bixby routines. What Bixby routines does is it changes any number of settings or parameters or opens different applications based on different input conditions. If you're familiar with if this then that type systems, then this should make a lot of sense to you. The best way to describe this is to just set up a new routine. So if you tap this plus icon in the corner, you can create a new routine. And now we have an if trigger. So if I go ahead and hit this plus button here, I can set a bunch of conditions for when this routine is going to run. So in this top section, you can see that I can have it run when I wake up in the morning, when I get to work, when I get home, before I go to sleep, while I'm sleeping, when I'm driving, or when I'm traveling abroad. If I scroll a little bit further down, I can have the routine run during a certain time. And if I tap that, I can also pick specific days for that routine to run on. And I can have a start time and an end time. So it only runs during a certain time frame. I can also have the routine run based on a place. Now this isn't where I live, I just picked a random place in California so I can show you guys how this works. But as you can see, there's a radius drawn around this little pinpoint. And any time that I come within this radius, the routine is gonna run. And I can increase or decrease the size of that radius by dragging this bar here. So that's a smaller radius, I can drag it and make it even larger, all the way out to 2000 meters. And if I only want the routine to run when I'm outside of this radius, I just switch the toggle down here to when I leave. Going back to the conditions, you can see that I can also have a routine run when I connect wired headphones based on charging status, so whether I'm charging or not, based on the battery level with any percentage that I want. I can have something run when I connect to a specific Wi-Fi network, or I can have something run based on my Wi-Fi signal strength. Now this one's particularly useful if there's certain places where you know you have really low Wi-Fi strength and you notice that it takes forever to do things on the internet when you do have that low strength, you can use a Bixby routine to automatically switch you to your regular mobile network whenever your Wi-Fi strength drops below a certain percentage. You can also run a routine whenever you connect to a specific Bluetooth device or when an app is opened. So if I tap this one, and I just pick some random application here and tap done, you can see that this routine is gonna run when I open Adobe Scan. But if I tap this, I can add other applications as well. So this AR Plan 3D, let's go ahead and tap that. So now, whenever Adobe Scan or AR Plan 3D open, this routine will run. You can also have it run a routine when you get an incoming call. Now this isn't an incoming call from a specific contact, it's any incoming call. And this last option is to be able to run the routine by pressing a button. Once you've selected all of the conditions for the routine to run, you can also change the name of the routine by tapping up here. You can also change the icon for the routine by tapping the icon in the corner. You can change the color as well as the icon. Once that's set, you can tap next and see all of the different things you can do when the routine runs. And here's where the power is. So if I tap this plus icon here, you can see that there are a ton of different things that you can do. Now I'm not gonna go through all of these. There's just a few of them that I wanna point out. And at any time you can just pause the video and kind of read through the rest of them. But I just wanna highlight the coolest ones for you guys. So this whole top section is just for enabling or disabling all of these different features. The next section down controls all of your sounds and vibrations. So you can do things like enable or disable Dolby Atmos, change the sound mode, change the media volume on your phone speaker. But the most useful one in this section is this separate app sound option. So if I tap this, you can see that I get the option to make sound from a specific application only come through the phone or through the Bluetooth connection. Now, this is exceptionally useful if you use a Bluetooth speaker at home to stream music, but you want your phone calls to always be private and go just to your phone. All you'd have to do is set up a routine that runs every time you connect to the speaker, 
that has audio go through your phone just for the phone application. So I just tap the phone application, tap done. Now I don't have to worry about any of my calls playing through the speaker. Turn on edge lighting is great if you just want to be notified that the routine is running. You can set up any kind of custom edge lighting. You can change the color, the transparency, you can change the width of the border and change to a different type of effect and also change the duration of the effect. And whenever the routine runs, this effect will play on your screen for a moment to let you know that the routine was enabled. Font size is a useful one if you wear reading glasses. You can have the font size automatically increase at night when you're getting ready to go to sleep and you don't usually have your glasses on, and then go back to a normal size when you get up in the morning and have your glasses on. Screen orientation is incredibly useful for anyone who uses their phone in bed at night before they go to sleep. If you're one of those people, I'm sure you've had plenty of times where you're trying to just read something in your internet browser and all of a sudden the phone just goes into landscape mode and then you have to go into your settings and turn off auto rotate so it stops doing that. Well, this feature allows you to turn on or off auto rotate automatically. I already put a routine together so I can demonstrate this for you guys so you can really see what I'm talking about here. So right now on my home screen, I have auto rotation turned on. But if I open up the Samsung internet browser, auto rotation is going to automatically turn off. And then if I switch to an application like YouTube, auto rotation is going to automatically turn back on again. Jumping back into setting up another routine, screen resolution is another very valuable one. I have a routine set up so that anytime I open up a navigation application, it automatically reduces my screen resolution. And what this does is it increases the battery life of my phone when I'm using something like Google Maps for a long drive. Then as soon as I leave the Google Maps application, my resolution automatically jumps right back up to WQHD+. Changing the lock screen shortcuts is one of my favorites. This allows you to change the left and right shortcuts on your lock screen based on any conditions you want. My favorite conditions are to have my work email and calendar when I'm at work, YouTube and a messenger application when I'm at home, and maps and a camera when I'm not at either of those locations. If you only use Bixby when you're home, you can go ahead and have voice wake up only work when you're home. Running a quick command is the most powerful feature here, and I'll get to this one in a minute. Beeping once and vibrating once are good to just let you know when a routine started running. Turn on flashlight is actually really useful if you use it for phone calls. So anytime you have an incoming call, you can have the flashlight turn on to get your attention, and then it will automatically turn off when you either answer or reject the call. Using a routine to open an app is something that I use every morning I'm commuting to work. Now what's really great about this is that it also includes app shortcuts. Now if you don't already know, if you long press on an application, you get a bunch of shortcuts that are app specific. This is a feature that's just baked into Android and it's not available for every application, but for the ones that do have shortcuts like this, you can access those here. So for me, every time I connect to my car in the morning, my routine automatically opens up my Bible application and goes straight to the plan that I'm reading for that day. And the great thing about the Uversion Bible app is that a lot of the plans can be read to you like an audiobook, which works out really well for my morning commute. Reading notifications aloud is great for when you're driving. Sending a quick decline message is great if you're ever in a meeting at work or you're in class at school. That'll allow you to just automatically reply to any incoming call with a custom text that says something like, can't talk right now, I'm in class, or in a meeting, call you back later. And if you pair that with the start button tapped condition, you'll get the option to add a widget to your home screen that'll turn the auto reply on or off when you tap it. As you can see, I now have the toggle on my home screen and I just tap it to enable the message and tap it again to disable it. Medium power saving allows you to turn on or off medium power saving mode. This is extremely useful if you want it to turn on automatically when your battery gets below a certain percentage. And you can have medium power saving mode automatically turn back off when you're charging your device and you get past a certain percentage. Or if you're someone who often forgets to plug your phone in at night or charge it at night at all, then you can have medium power saving mode turn on automatically if you go to sleep without plugging your phone in. Dashboard widget is a really cool feature that allows you to take any widget you have installed on your phone and have it show up on your lock screen and in your notification shade whenever one of your routines is running. And you can pick different widgets for different routines. So to demonstrate this, here I am on my lock screen. All I have to do is swipe left on the time and then tap the dashboard widgets. And I can see all of the widgets that I have enabled for this particular routine. And you can have a bunch of widgets as well. All you have to do is scroll down to see the rest of them. And since these are widgets, they are interactive, so I can go ahead and tap one of them, and it says Reminder Completed. I can also get back to those widgets by pulling down my notification shade from any screen, tapping the Bixby Routines, then tapping the Dashboard Widgets text. 
If at any point you want to stop a routine from running, just pull down your notification shade, tap Bixby Routines, then tap Stop. Once you set up your routines, they're all going to appear on this main Bixby Routines page. But let's say you're going on vacation and you don't want some of them to run, but you do want other ones to run. All you have to do is uncheck these boxes and you can disable or enable any of the routines you want. If you don't see the action you want for the routine you're trying to run in this list, that's what this Run Quick command feature is for. This allows you to run any Bixby command at all and chain a bunch of Bixby commands together. As you can see here, I made a list of 31 different commands with Bixby, and if I tapped this, what would happen is anytime this routine runs, it's going to execute all 31 of those commands. Now that's totally impractical, you're never going to want to run that many commands in one shot, but the point is you can do it. Now in order to use the quick commands, you need to set a few of them up. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. All you have to do is hold the power button and say, show quick commands. So as you can see, here are the four quick commands I have set up. If I want to set up a new one, I just tap this plus icon. This top bar is what I want to say to Bixby to execute the command. And this bottom section allows me to choose any Bixby command I want. So I can tap select a command and select any of these applications here and then tap a command from the list. Or I can say a command like play my road trip playlist on Spotify. And if I don't want to do either of those, I can just type the command in manually. If I want to change the order of the commands, I just tap edit and drag these little arrows up and down. And when I've put in what I want to say to Bixby and what it does after I say that command, I just tap save and it creates the new quick command for me. Now here are two that I set up earlier that really highlight how powerful this is. So if I hold the Bixby button and I said road trip, it's going to play my road trip playlist on Spotify, turn on medium power saving mode, turn off my Wi-Fi, and open Google Maps so I can start navigation. And it's going to do all of that without me touching the device at all. This good night command will automatically turn off all the lights in my home. And if I say going to work, it's going to turn on my Bluetooth so I can connect to my car, start navigation to work, and turn off my Wi-Fi because I obviously won't need it while I'm driving. If you ever use Wi-Fi in public places like airports, coffee shops, or hotels, or you often travel abroad to countries that block streaming services like YouTube or Netflix, or you ever buy plane tickets, then you'll want a quick command like this next one. Hi Bixby. Go ghost. This is my quick command to open up the app from today's sponsor, Surfshark. This is a VPN service that allows you to safely log in to sensitive accounts like your bank while using public Wi-Fi by encrypting the data that's sent over the network. If you weren't using a VPN, anyone with even a little bit of computer know-how and a couple of free hacking apps can easily see all of your sensitive data. VPN services like Surfshark can also spoof your location. So if you're in a country that blocks Netflix or YouTube, Surfshark can make it look like your phone is in the United States so you can still get access to those services. Surfshark can also get you lower prices on airplane tickets. If you didn't already know, it's common practice for airlines and other online retailers to increase prices if you search for the same flight or product multiple times. Surfshark hides your search history so companies can't use this tactic to charge you more. If you guys want a whopping 83% off a one-year subscription to Surfshark and one month free, go ahead and click the link in the description or the pinned comment and use the coupon code Techisode at checkout. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. If you have a lot of smart home products that can connect to smart things like smart lights or smart locks and things of that sort, then you're really gonna like this next feature. I personally have a lot of smart lights in my home and I always control them with Bixby. All I have to do is hold the power button and say something like, turn on the basement lights. And just like that, both of my basement lights are on. And if I tap one of them, it takes me right into smart things and I can change everything from the color, turn it on or off, change the brightness, and even the color temperature. Now this can be used to do a lot more than just turn lights on and off. Anything that connects to smart things can be either controlled or read from. So if you have a smart plug with an air conditioner plugged into it, you can turn that air conditioner on or off remotely. Or if you just want to know what the temperature is in the basement, all you have to do is hold the power button and say, what's the temperature in the basement? And just like that, I can see that the average temperature is 60 degrees. And it's taking that average temperature based on the two sensors that are in the basement. 
When you first get your phone, double pressing the power button is going to default to opening the camera. But if you want to do something different, all you have to do is hold the power and volume down buttons for a few seconds. Then tap the side key settings. And you can change that to either opening the Bixby application or open any other application you want. This next one is a lifesaver in a huge parking lot like you'd get at Disney or any other amusement park. Anytime I need to remember where I parked, all I have to do is hold the power button and say, remember where I parked. It's going to open up the camera. Let me take a picture of maybe the parking aisle number. So I go ahead and take that picture. And now it's going to save the parking location as well as the picture. Then when you're on the way back to the car, all you have to do is hold the button again and say, where did I park? Then it's going to bring up your reminder with the picture of the parking aisle number. And if you tap the more in reminder app option down here, you can then tap the coordinates and you can start navigating to exactly where you parked. If you're on your way out the door for a night out with the friends, but you're not sure if you're going to have enough battery to make it through the night, just ask a question like this. How much battery do I have left? And it's going to show me right at the top that I have 5 hours and 14 minutes left. So if you see that you don't have quite enough juice to make it through the night, just hold the button again and say something like, Turn on medium power saving mode. Then go ahead and tap apply. And you can see that it added over an hour to my battery life. If you just want to quickly send an email, all you have to do is say something like, in Gmail, send a message to wife with subject new furniture. What's the message for this email? Then just hold the button again and dictate whatever you want to be in the message. Hey, sweetheart, do you want a couch with storage or a pull-out bed? Looks like I forgot the question mark, so all I have to do is hold the button again and just say question mark. Then I can go ahead and tap send and shoot the email over to my wife. If you get a text message while you're driving, instead of trying to read the message on your phone and causing an accident, just say something like, Hi Bixby, read my last text message. There are 20 messages found. Messages from someone important at 10.31 p.m. You should subscribe to Techisode TV for more in-depth smartphone coverage. Do you want to hear more? Nope. So as you can see there, Bixby also offered to keep reading more messages. So if I said yes, it would have gone to all of the messages that came just before that. And if you want to reply to the message, just say something like, Hi Bixby, reply to the message. What would you like the message for someone important to say? Sounds great! Exclamation point. Would you like me to send this message? Someone important sounds great. Yes. It's been sent. If you're ever traveling abroad, this next feature will be extremely useful. Anytime you see a sign or a menu or something you want to read that's in a different language and you want to translate it to your native language, all you have to do is say, Open Bixby Vision and translate this to German. Now, obviously, I'm using German because I don't have anything that's in another language to translate to English, but I figured this would give you guys a good idea of how this works. As you can see, as I move the phone around, too, it tracks the text. Oh, and in case you're wondering, there are a ton of different languages. So if I tap German up here, you can see that here's some that I've tried recently. And if I keep going, there's a ton of different languages you can translate to and from. If you've ever forgotten to go grocery shopping and you're not sure what to make for dinner with the ingredients you have, you can just ask Bixby. I need a dinner recipe with cheese, ground beef, and corn. Here are some dinner recipes with cheese, ground beef, and corn. Then you can just scroll through and find something you like. When you see something you like, just go ahead and tap it. And you get the number of people it serves, as well as a list of all the ingredients. How to prep it and also some nutrition facts. If there's a specific application you want to download, you can download it faster by just asking Bixby to download it. In Google Play Store, download Google Calendar. 
So it's going to open Google Play Store, find Google Calendar, then all I have to do is tap install. If there's a file saved somewhere on your phone and you want to find it quickly, all you have to do is say something like, search my files for a PDF called coupon. All right, here's what I found. And as you can see, coupon is only one of the words in the title of this document, which means it's really easy to find anything you're looking for as long as you know what one of the words is in the document name. And if you have no idea what the document's called, but you know that you downloaded it recently, you can say something like, show my recent downloads. And as you can see, there is the coupon PDF again. If you've noticed that Bixby isn't recognizing your voice very well, you can improve its voice recognition by going into Bixby's settings. To get there, just hold the power button and say, Bixby settings. Then tap voice wake up and tap improve voice wake up accuracy. And it says it right here. The more recordings you make, the more accurate Bixby will get. And you're going to want to do this in a bunch of different places. So in your living room, in your kitchen, in your car, maybe at work. Basically, any place where you plan on using Bixby, you should create another recording in that place so that Bixby works more consistently. If tracking your fitness is important to you, you'll be happy to know that Bixby has access to most of Samsung Health's features. So you can say things like, how many steps have I taken today? You've walked 5,955 steps today. Nice, so I'm only a few steps away from my target. You can also ask things like, what's my average steps this week? You've walked an average of 6,836 steps this week. And if I want to track some food, that's easy too. All I have to say is something like, add an apple for my afternoon snack. So it's going to go into the Samsung Health food tracker and search for apple. Then I can just tap the type of apple I ate, tap next, and tap done. Let me know in the comments below if this changed your opinion on Bixby. And as always, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see my upcoming Galaxy Note 10 and iPhone 11 coverage. And while you're at it, smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when the videos drop. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.